Nasser Yassin is an online content creator known as Nas Daily. He went on a six month challenge to learn about the top six religions. He kept Islam as the final religion in his challenge. And I was curious to know which scholar or religious leader he'd learn from. But for some reason, Islam is the only religion that he didn't go to a religious leader to learn. He only claimed to learn Islam from his mother. And now for the final religion, Islam. But this religion, I did not learn from a sheikh. Ah, I learned Islam from my mother. He showed every single other faith the intellectual respect to learn from their leaders and scholars, but not Islam. For one month, I read Christian books. I spoke to Christian bishops. For one month, I read the holiest books. I talked to religious leaders. I read Buddhist books. I talked to Buddhist monks. I read Jewish books. I taught to Jewish rabbis. For one full month, I read atheist books. I talked to atheist scholars. Why not go and speak with a Muslim scholar? Subhanallah, you went to Mecca and Medina and still didn't speak with any Muslim scholar. What a waste of time and opportunity. And I believe the reason he didn't go to learn Islam from a Muslim scholar is obvious. He knows that every single real Muslim scholar he speaks to will refute him and his fake pacifist image of Islam. Love everybody. <laughs> She's the best Muslim I know. She doesn't hate anybody. She loves her religion. She loves other religions. It's incredible. Let me break it to all of you. The religion of Islam isn't just about peace and love. The important doctrine in Islam is Tawheed through monotheism. Inshallah in this video I'm going to react to what his mother taught him about Islam and remind him of an important doctrine of Islam which is al wala wal bara. So without wasting any time let's watch the clips and come back. <sighs> I spent one full month studying my religion islam alhamdulillah he claimed to be a muslim in this video so i'm going to try to ignore all of his previous misguidance as much as possible and treat him as a muslim so no sir if you are truly a muslim then when you hear something from the quran or the sunnah you should just submit it doesn't matter where you were born allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his religion should be above everything else there it is this is where islam started in a cave that looks something like this islam was revealed to prophet muhammad by an angel while he was sitting in the cave the angel said the first word in islam read read is what god told muslims to do read the quran read to understand read to discover and so i read about islam and the first thing i learned is discipline 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 very few people know this but islam is the religion of discipline our discipline as Muslims comes from knowing who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. When you know your creator and his true names and attributes, you immediately understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly deserves to be worshipped. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something, we hear and obey. This is in Toronto. Wow. This is in Toronto. So this is a protest for something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Toronto. But it's still. It's still. Oh, it's a protest. Okay, I even thought, if it's a protest, you get that many people that are doing that. There's not another religion that would do that. That would do that. They are so much more devout. Yeah. In their belief, because they're praying. Like the Catholics would just wave a cross yeah, in your face. Uh, and, they do like a half. Yeah, yeah. Half and a lot of people would come out. The yeah. Spirit, <laughs> you know, There's yeah. More the Muslims are out there in the street on their knees. Your traffic. We're we're yeah. praying. <laughs> your you traffic. Know? Yeah, Which yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. This is that's a different thing. It's Toronto, it's busy. Yeah. We are more devout because we know who our God is. We know that God Almighty does not die, and we also know that God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is not a human being. Say he is Allah who is one. Allah the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born, nor is there to him any equivalent. And anybody who wants to know who God Almighty is, I invite you to open the Quran and start reading. And here's another one. Before every prayer, Muslims have to be clean by washing their feet, hands, and head multiple times a day. Muslims are not just committed to God, they are committed to cleanliness. According to Prophet Muhammad, cleanliness is half the faith. 
إذا إحنا بنرمي قمامة على الأرض الملائكة تتأذى لأنه النظافة هي جزء لا يتجزأ من ديننا هو ديننا هو نظافة I'm sorry but which scholar said angels are hurt because of garbage This is what happens when you take your religion from layman You should take your knowledge of Islam from scholars and the people of knowledge This is the hadith that she tried to link with garbage Jab ibn Abdullah reported the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying He who eats of this offensive plant i.e. garlic And sometimes he said He who eats onion and garlic and leek Should not approach our mosque for the angels are harmed by the same things as the children of Adam. This hadith speaks about the prohibition to go and pray in a mosque in a congregation smelling bad because of the harm it causes both human beings and the angels dwelling in the mosque. So this hadith is specific about the smell. That's why the smell of smoking also comes under the same ruling as the smell of eating garlic, onion or leek because they all smell bad. She's the best Muslim I know. She doesn't hate anybody. She loves her religion. She loves other religions. It's incredible. Amazing. This is clear misguidance. The best example for us to follow is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you are truly a Muslim, you should agree and submit. Indeed, in the Messenger of Allah, you have an excellent example for whoever has hope in Allah and the last day and remembers Allah often. And this is what our beloved Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who you should take as an example if you are truly a Muslim, said. It is narrated on the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam observed by him in whose hand is the life of Muhammad he amongst the community of Jews or Christians hears about me but does not affirm his belief in that with which I have been sent and dies in this state of disbelief he shall be but one of the denizens of hellfire so does your mother love the people of hell she loves her religion she loves other religions it's incredible Amazing. this is an honest question because we as Muslims are not like the Christians. We Muslims hate both the disbelief of the disbeliever and the disbeliever himself. لا تتخذوا عدوي وعدوكم أولياء تلقون إليهم بالمودة قد كفروا بما جاءكم من الحق فنبغض الكفار ونبغض دينهم نعم ومن لا يبغض الكفار فليس عنده ولاء وبراء نعم this is the true Islam that you should promote to your audience. Not this new liberal love everybody Islam. You should be intellectually honest. And if you don't like this Islam, which is the Islam that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa came with, then you should start thinking and contemplating whether you are truly a Muslim or not. We Muslims submit fully to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will not find the people who believe in Allah and the last day having affection to those who oppose Allah and his messenger. Even even if they were their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kindred. Those he had decreed within their hearts fate and supported them with spirit from him and he will admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow wherein they abide eternally. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him. Those are the party of Allah and questionably the party of Allah they are the successful. Please tell me what do you do with this verse from the Quran? Does promoting love for all other religions agree with this verse? Of course not. That's why you and all these liberals claiming to be Muslim should stop lying and making us Muslims look bad. Just be honest and accept that Islam is the absolute truth. Whoever seeks a way other than Islam, it will never be accepted from them and in the hereafter, they will be among the losers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse is telling you that anybody who chooses a religion other than Islam will be among the losers in the hereafter, which is the hellfire. Please tell me why are you promoting in loving people in the hellfire it doesn't make any sense but don't get it twisted hating a person doesn't mean abusing him or taking his rights on the contrary narrated Abdullah bin Amr the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever killed a mu'ahad a person who is granted the pledge of protection by the Muslims shall not smell the fragrance of paradise though its fragrance can be smelled at a distance of 40 years of traveling this is true Islam a religion of balance it is 
completely prohibited to harm the disbelievers living among the Muslims. Allah does not forbid you from dealing kindly and fairly with those who have neither fought nor driven you out of your homes. Surely Allah loves those who are fair. Alhamdulillah we are commanded to be fair and kind to the disbelievers who are not fighting us because of our religion. So next time when you try to speak about Islam, don't try to mix between liberalism and Islam because it doesn't work and just makes you look like a liar when the disbelievers read the Quran. Say your prophet, obey Allah and his messenger. If they still turn away, then truly Allah does not like the disbelievers. The world would be so much better if we have more discipline, equality, and unity. The world will be better with more people like my mother. If you truly believe that, then I expect you to side with your Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine to bring equality and unity to the region. But you don't. Which means you don't really believe what you just said in the video. Let me remind you of this important doctrine in Islam and see if you are truly a Muslim or not. Or you have believed. Do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies. They are in fact allies of one another. And whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed he is one of them. Indeed Allah guides not the wrongdoing people. Do you take the Muslims as your allies or do you take the Jews and Christians as your allies? According to Sahih al Jami' al Saghir wa Ziyadati al Sheikh al Albani, page 497, hadith number 2539. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أوثق عرى الإيمان الموالاة في الله والمعاداة في الله والحب في الله والبغض في الله عز وجل The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said The strongest bond of faith is taking believers as allies and friends for the sake of Allah and to guard disbelievers as enemies for the sake of Allah and to love for the sake of Allah and hate for the sake of Allah may he be glorified and exalted So when you don't take your Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine as allies. It just proved to us that you don't really have a strong bond of faith. And this is what we call in Islam al-wala wal bara. As explained by Iman ibn Baz rahimahullah, there is no doubt that it is obligatory for Muslims to love for the sake of Allah and hate for the sake of Allah, to be loyal to the allies of Allah and to oppose the enemies of Allah. Al-wala wal bara is a doctrine that many ignore or are ignorant about. We Muslims should love the believers and take them as allies and friends, not the disbelievers like you are doing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you and all the non-Muslims watching this video to the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And lastly, I want to pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects our brothers and sisters in Palestine and grant them victory over their enemies. And no sir, if you are truly a Muslim, you should now say, Ameen. I hope you benefited. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. This is the holiest book in Islam. Holiest book in Islam. I hope you benefited from this video. You can also watch this video about should Muslims support Donald Trump. And don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.